to sit through the day of the plaintiff's lawyer um, going on and on at length about the conspiracy uh, we have against their company. That's what they're trying to explain and, and discredit everyone involved, of course, um, suggest by using uh, media footage of myself and other people that we had planned all along um, to essentially damage their company is what they want to argue. Of course, leaving aside everything that's actually motivating us and we're actually there about, which has everything to do about the local environment, the global environment, uh, nothing specific necessarily to their company. They just happen to be the company that's pushing this project at this time and this place. I, I feel pretty good about it, as, as much as you can, in a situation where you know the deck is stacked against you um, and went, in terms of the um, law system, in terms of government, in terms of the power and, and money these corporations have, you know it's always stacked against us. And yet, this situation, uh, this, it's the resistance is coming from so many directions. You know, the Tsleil-Waututh First Nation, to name only one First Nation, because many of them are, are voicing their direct opposition and refusal of this project. But the Tsleil-Waututh Nation, of course, have a uh, constitutional court challenge going forward. Um, you know, and in light of the recent Chilcotin decision, You've really got to think they're, they've got a bone to pick and, and, and a, a leg to st stand on, some solid uh, unseated ground to stand, stand on ultimately. Um, you know, with the city of Burnaby also going to the, to, the, to the Supreme Court and the fact that the vast majority of Burnaby residents and, uh, and the, the council are, are absolutely determined to stop this. That's unusual for this kind of a project or situation, I think. And then you widen out and look at the whole social justice and environmental movement uh, all around the world um, who are really their attention is being drawn to this project now. Um, and they're realizing it's not just Enbridge, Northern Gateway, it's not just um, the, the Keystone, uh, but this is a real big one and it's happening right now and the resistance is, is really hitting the wall right now. So people are starting to rally around that as well. So all those things uh, really, really um, surprise and encourage me. So you never know, right? But um, boy, are they getting some bad PR and some pushback. Uh, I think beyond what this company expected. And they're suing you personally. Thoughts about that? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I can't think of it at this point other than as a slap suit, right? You know, it's just it's just a way of trying to get people out of the way. I think the company really wants their injunction, and that's a big, uh, you know, stick to wield around in the background uh, to try and force the injunction through. I'm certainly hoping that's all it is. I don't have a spare five million <laughs> lying around, um, so we'll have to take that as it comes. And the lawyers, our, our lawyers, are certainly focusing right now on the injunction case, and then they'll look at the whatever's left to deal with after that. So we'll see. But yeah, it's just a, a, a tactic uh, which we're we're all familiar with who do any kind of social justice work um, that companies, corporations will use everything at their disposal, including the legal system and their very, very deep pockets to try and push people out of the way and shut them up.